Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Welcome back to Meters Munich. So I am super thrilled to give you a little bit of a different episode. So with Meters Munich, I'm gonna to go to different places as well over the course of this year. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you wanna find out more. But this time around, I'm actually at the European Conference of Information Systems in Norway, in Kristiansand. And I'm gonna be presenting together with my co-author Katarina Kneisel, a research paper which is all about kind of the effects of digital transformation on social sustainability and so I thought it would be nice to kind of try and experiment how vlogging works and yeah really take you along the journey because I think I never thought that as a student you could publish a conference paper and so I just kind of want to share this experience how is this conference like what are my impressions really show you this beautiful city and kind of the whole experience and I'm also going to reflect a little bit about my process, talk all about kind of scientific imposter syndrome and what my main learnings of really doing this paper is was like. And yeah, I'm just super happy to take you along on this journey. So let's get straight into this one. Hello, we're back here at my Airbnb. So I hope you like kind of this little overview of the university. It was my first time getting there as well. And it's just very green. I really enjoyed it. And how cool are these banks with all these kind of philosophical and thought provoking statements? That's why I photographed them because I really, I've never seen that at a university before. And it's like, I don't know, it would be so fun to just sit there with friends and just think about these statements because I feel like some of them would really spark some very interesting discussions for sure. So we are officially registered in. So as you can see, we have a little troll, which I thought was so cute. I mean, how cute is that? That, yeah, I don't know. That's a very interesting touch. And so yeah, the, the topic of the co conference really is co-creating sustainable digital futures. And so that kind of fits in very well with kind of what we handed in as a, as a conference paper. So I'm very, very excited. And then obviously we got the obligatory pen and a notebook and I feel like you can really tell over my university career at all the events I was because there's always like the the notebook or definitely the pen you get but that's a very very nice touch so yeah so I hope you kind of like this little overview we're going to go into Christian Sand and explore the city now and at the evening there's going to be like a, a get together so you're gonna join me on that one as well so let's find out what it's all about so I really, really fell in love with Christian Sand actually when I was there. So it was called the Norwegian Riviera. And honestly, I was like, okay, what does that mean? But it has super beautiful churches and really the city center. And also this area here where it's near to the harbor was super, super pretty. And yeah, we're just kind of here going to the reception. And that's kind of where it all took place. So there were loads of people, good vegetarian food. Like it was delicious, really. Well, hello there. So yesterday was a very, very long day. I feel like at the end I was just super, yeah, tired and exhausted from hearing so many insights, really. Um, but I did get manage to interview some people and I'm going to interview some other people today. So stay tuned for the subsequent video on this. So today's the big day. As you can see by my outfit, I'm a little bit more, more business. Um, still going to yeah prepare myself for 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 the um, for the presentation today and to be honest i'm very very happy that i wasn't the first one because i feel like now i kind of know what you can expect from different presentations and the presentation styles how do people kind of act scientifically at conferences or like um, present scientific papers let's go and let's find out what the second conference day is going to be like I've interviewed all these people, they're going to be kind of cut into, into a separate video where, like I said, um, everybody explains their research in under five minutes. So I think there are like a lot of different avenues for you to look into. And I will present now in around 20 to minutes or something, so I will have to get ready and look through the presentation again. I'm, uh, I wouldn't say I'm nervous, but I'm kind of a little bit like... I don't know how many people are going to be there, I hope everything goes well, um, but yeah, I, I'm mostly nervous to be honest about the questions at the end because <laughs> I think, you know, you, you hand in that paper and then everything can't be asked and then I've seen people who have got very nice questions or, or like, 
I don't know, recommendations, but then there were like people who like actually said, you know, I think this is completely different and I'm like, oh god, <laughs> if I get that question, I'll be like, hmm. But yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I can convince somebody to film me, we'll see. Because I've, I've noticed that with the camera, with the professional camera, it, it, it doesn't work out very well <laughs> if somebody else looks at it, who is not somebody who is into cameras. And yeah, and then we have the conference dinner, which is going to be super fancy, apparently. So I will take you obviously with me. So let's find out um, how everything goes. So when we started, there was like this technical error, like we couldn't present, which was, uh, yeah, very uh, <laughs> uncomfortable, I think. But then we started, you know, with the introduction of the team and then kind of the, the agenda. So it's so a very classic, let's say. And that's kind of where we then uh, really went on. And, and it was very flowing very well. So we kind of changed in the, in the presentation and at the end like, like any good paper as well limitations and we really got some very very interesting questions at the end so that was also very fun to kind of see people interacting with the paper having prepared their questions and i think that was something also we said at the end like kind of what you should take away from the research and i really like that because there is like this it's kind of abstracting it right so you have this super long paper but then what is actually the quintessential thing and that is something which I would definitely take on if I were to present a scientific paper again. And then it was really about the conference dinner. So it was interesting. It was actually at a, at a normal kind of, everybody could go through it. It was not a, like a closed off area, but it was in the middle of that was this man choir who was singing in Norwegian and we had seafood platter which was so so delicious i know it's not vegetarian but that's kind of what they offered so it was very very fresh and yeah it was just a very nice thing to kind of do it in the middle of the city center with all these beautiful houses and just kind of have that vibe of what christian sand is about so we did the conference dinner and it was a lot of fun it was so so much food like i even got two desserts which not complaining about but I feel like you know the shellfish platter like I made some photos it was super funny because I was like with some mainland Chinese people and from Hong Kong and from Singapore and I think we were at the table where everybody photographed their food so I felt a little bit less awkward like you know I always thought it was super terrible when people kind of photograph their food but I'm taking you with me on this journey so alas I had to do it um, yeah super super delicious um, I think it's interesting also that the food is not going to waste so the waiters actually eat it um, so you can take it with you that would have been kind of my normal thing if I can't finish a, a food then I will always take it with me but yeah but they said hey we want to eat it and I understand it was incredibly delicious really I'm pretty tired honestly after this day and it I can't even believe it but it's 11 p.m. actually at the moment like it looks like it's 6 p.m. in the afternoon like the days here are very very long and I think it's super interesting to think about kind of the circadian rhythm and how we beforehand really didn't have artificial light but it was really about you know um, just going with the sun and, and, and your uh, microbiome also goes with the sun and everything else and so I think that's super fascinating to think how much more productive you were actually probably in summer but yeah but it's been an incredible day I'm gonna tell you all about the presentation and blend in some photos and everything tomorrow and how it was for me and we're gonna just kind of do the last conference day I'm gonna have some last interviews hopefully and then it's this is over and yeah there's something which I wanted to reflect on already now because I said like I'm with people from mainland China Singapore and, and, and Hong Kong is that when I heard a European conference of information system I thought you know maybe some people from Africa Middle East because that's also where they also kind of are part of the where the conference can take place but I honestly didn't think that people from Australia or New Zealand or like I said, Asia, generally speaking, would kind of fly in, or even from the US. And then it's so international, and I think that's something which really surprised me. Like, that being said, there are a lot of German people here, but yeah, I think that's just very, very interesting, and I really like kind of the international vibe about it. So yeah, so I have a good half an hour to go home, so I'm probably going to do that now. 
So the last days I didn't really film that much to be honest I didn't want this vlog to be like forever long but basically it was just not there where I interviewed um, researchers it was some more input and then I really kind of explored the other days the the city more so all these beautiful flowers and, and, and just kind of going around being at the waterfront really and just kind of chilling I mean we had the best weather ever and then I also went kind of hiking and more into nature and it was so beautiful so we're back at home and <laughs> I kind of wanted to as promised really talk about my journey to the paper kind of my impressions of the conference as a first time participant really and and yeah and just kind of my learnings or what I would kind of impart onto someone who's interested in their academic career. So in terms of my journey I think what really made here a massive difference honestly is that I was studying the film master because they have a very strong research focus and I had never had that before so I think having an academic mentor is game changing because they really kind of put that pathway for you saying like hey do you not want to go into research maybe and then also the fact that I did it in a team right so I think with Katarina we were like a sparring team and then with um, our other co-authors Ricarda and Anna and it was very valuable because I think my biggest concern to be honest was being lost kind of finding the topic how do you go about this and I think you're almost used to working on your own in research and that's not the case in reality so it was really nice to kind of see that and I mean the whole process really like from the first initiation to the conference paper being presented really was around a year which is very very long so I think um, you need to have a long breath so we actually sent it in in around November and then we got we had to revise the vision the version so that means that you know the editor makes some comments so several editors and then you can implement them and then at the end the kind of end person so the associate editor kind of says if you accepted the conference or not so we did that um to be fair with us it wasn't too bad it was mainly like stuff like i don't know the literature background, so it's some kind of conceptual background and to add some um, sources, for example, or the methodology. I think that one was a bit more, um, a bit more work. And yeah, so I think, and then it went all quickly, like then you knew you were going to go to ITSIS and then you need to figure out the financials, right? Because a conference is actually quite expensive um, because, you know, you need to have the flight, then there are conference tickets. And then you also, I mean, Norway is not exactly the, the cheapest country. So it was a consideration. And I think that's why some students maybe don't do it also, because I mean, it's just two, three days. Like I actually stayed a week, but still, and, and, and for the price, but I think, for me, it was very interesting to kind of go out of my comfort zone, which is normally more in the kind of business area and to go into that research area and really push myself and those boundaries. And I think working in team, having that academic mentor really made all the difference for me, at least. So that's kind of, oh, yeah, what I kind of wanted to share here. If you have any questions or if you're interested in kind of publishing a paper or something, I'm always um, happy to help. And I think what, in terms of the kind of paper process, like how you actually write the paper, what I found interesting is that I saw kind of some similarities with storytelling in, in, in startups or in pitch decks, or I think the terminology of storytelling is really always relevant also in, in, in scientific papers. And I didn't th really think that, to be honest because when we were kind of writing down our results and everything so our academic or my academic mentor kind of kept asking you know so what why should anybody care about this research and and yeah and so the, i think that was a very interesting question which is really guiding me also through now my master thesis why should anybody care why is this a relevant topic so not to only say like i'm building on previous research but i'm actually like contributing to something here and I think that was a, a, a mindset shift for me. I'm still terrified of the methodology section, but I feel much more confident now to kind of embark on this and, and really take ownership. So I think it was a, a very, very good journey. 
And like anything also, the the importance of the introduction, right? So I think that's where you capture people's attention. And that's something I normally very, very much enjoy. Um, But yeah, but I think it was interesting because when I talked to Aaron from CDTM about the value of scientific thinking, really, I really appreciate the fact that during this research phase at the film, you really concentrate on this topic and you dive completely into this and I think that's something which in today's society is a bit more difficult because you're kind of used to always doing so many things all the distractions and just to kind of focus really on this one thing and hone into it completely and really become kind of that expert in that area was really interesting so yes I'm not going to bore you too much but basically our process like I said was um, a lot of interviews actually so we work both with case studies and with um, with kind of literature research and then we kind of yeah went about this iteratively modeling it and I think that's where the beauty of the teamwork really um, shone through. In terms of impressions so I really liked the way it was organized it was super super nice like there were all these kind of little touches so if, if that's the men's choir or the reception that the music so it was very music and, and, and I don't know like happy vibes um, the vegetarian food was nice, except obviously the seafood platter um, impressions Christian Sand is beautiful like absolutely drop that gorgeous like I included some pictures of kind of the scenery and and the nature is so beautiful I, I loved walking around there and I think a last impression honestly is that everybody really does live in their bubble and I think it's so important to kind of you know it seems so obvious when you are in in that area but then because even in, in, in academia like you know everybody's kind of in their research field and they don't go as out as much and I think you could even tell that at a conference so everybody was going going to the tracks let's say or listening to the to the stuff which is relevant to their research topic which makes sense but I think it was nice like with the videos I could kind of yeah just go around and, and, and talk to people so stay tuned for the video I think it's super fun like, it was really fun to kind of challenge these researchers to explain it under five minutes and as a last point, learnings. So honestly, I really overcame my, I would call it scientific imposter syndrome because, so I would say I'm quite well versed and just kind of happy being in the business world. But in academia, I was, it was just not the case at all. So I just felt at the beginning, like I have no clue what I'm doing here. Somehow at the end of this, there should be a paper and I have no idea if that's even possible or remotely probable really and so that meant that then I didn't kind of engage as much like I kind of relied more heavily on my partner who was more experienced than me she really had done like you know Karina had done a lot of this so I really relied more on her and I think that's kind of the way, wrong way to go about this so I think if I were to do it again I would change two things I would kind of first off really focus more on it like on the topic and really give it also my time and just like the mental energy I had it kind of distributed it across different fields let's say and I think that made it more difficult because you then kind of your brain is you really needs to go super um, concentrated on this topic and that makes it more difficult and I think the second part really is to just kind of own it and say hey I don't know like I don't know how to go about this but I'm willing to try and I think if you have that willingness then people don't take it serious don't take it badly or anything and I I didn't do it so yeah so I hope you enjoyed my little video um it was just something I I thought was interesting to share even though it has (laughs) not a Munich um, focus because I think not a lot of students go to conferences and in their masters and I think it might be interesting to one or two who might be interested in academia or just generally speaking the beautiful scenery of Christian Sand. So I hope you enjoyed this if you did subscribing would mean the world to me and until the next video all the best.